English speaking, public speaking. The blind station. Even you would be surprised. Excuse me, what is Mr. Abdul? Struggle is a part of life. A struggle is a key of success. Like, if we want to do something, achieve something, succeed something. So what we need to do? We need to do struggle. Today I am standing here to tell something about life. And this is Sam Khan in front of you. I love learning English and other languages because it's one of my hobby. Bas? Education is very important in our life because uh, uh, without education, is, life is a waste. Uh, I have life, but we don't know how to live it. Somebody is more happy and somebody is less happy because we all have problems. Uh, fight, uh, fight against the problem. When we have slippers, we go outside. Life is a light and life is up. Sometimes it's... So guys, right? One to three. <laughs> huh? Five. <laughs> right? Hi, <laughs> Nasai. That's right. Three. No, two. Okay. This is the right thing. What is the right thing? What is the right thing? What is the right thing? So, everybody, first of all, good afternoon. How are you feeling everybody? Amazing! That's great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And it's going to be a very special session today. It's a blind speech, blind presentation session. As you know there. I know that it's going to be first time in the history of actually English speaking and public speaking. The blind session. Even you would be surprised. Excuse me, what is Mr. Abdullah doing on the stage? What is he talking? What is he doing? Why is he, he has tried? Why he has hidden his eyes? Why is he not looking? But I just want to say that, you know, my eyes are off, but my mouth is on. My eyes are off, but my mind is on. My eyes are off, but my heart is on. My eyes are off, but my intelligence is on. My eyes are off, but my presentation is on. I just want to tell you one thing that with the help of this, you know, blind speech station, that excuse me, if you are blindly, if you are handicapped, if you are physically challenged, if you are crippled, you never just be ashamed of that. Work hard, achieve your dream, just never be ashamed of that. Because you know that aankhe nahi diya hota hai upar wala to kuch aur uske darab de ke bhejta hai. Kadam nahi deta to dil mein wo ulaan deta hai. Dimaag mein wo jaan deta hai. And that's why believe the power of Almighty God that if He has made you, if He has created you, just try to believe and try to understand your potential and capacity and your power. So never think about, excuse me, that you're tired. You never feel uncomfortable, right? You know, this time I'm not feeling uncomfortable. I'm feeling comfortable. My eyes, I can't see you. I can't see you. I, I, I can't see anyone. I can't see this, this board. I can't see this wall. I can't see the camera. I can't see this mic. I can't see myself even, right? My eyes are off. My eyes are closed. But I just want to say that I can feel you. I can feel my enthusiasm. I can feel my energy. I can feel myself. I can feel my words. I can feel my power. I can feel my strength. And I can feel my motivation exactly, right? I know koi hasa hai abhi thoda sa. Right. To thik hai. Jis par jag hasa hai, usi ni tihas racha hai. Mai mehsoos kar sakta hoon ki aap mujh pe has raha hoonge ki ye bandar jaisa kya naatak kar raha hai. Because you are doing a great job. Exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say exactly, you know. If my eyes are off, then it's okay. If my leg is not working, it's okay. If I don't have one hand, it's okay. If I am dumb person, it's okay. If I am deaf person, it's okay. And if I am facing some challenges, some issues, some problems, it's okay, ladies and gentlemen. With the help of this blind session, I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you. Like, you know, feel comfortable always. Be that much confident that if you have to speak among the thousands and lakhs of the people, never be ashamed of that and never just, you know, feel insecure, never feel hesitant, never feel fear, never feel frightened, never feel fidget on the stage. At the time of speaking, just speak. And think about yourself that, yes, you are able to speak in the front of everyone. All right. Work on this. Believe yourself and believe the power of the paradigm. Believe the power of the paradigm. Believe the power of the eyes. Believe the power of your words. Believe the power of your actually, you know, thoughts, inner power. This time I'm just trying to say this, ladies and gentlemen. 
I can understand that, you know, you would be thinking, excuse me, that how can you speak? Even when, you, you, when your eyes are open, you look upside. You cannot make eye contact. But with the closed eyes, if you are making completely confident eye contact, then this is going to give a goosebumps to every public, to every audience, to everybody. So are you excited everybody for this? Yes sir. Are you excited for this great session? Yes sir. Should we start it? Yes sir. So let's start not from my side, not just from your side. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just open this, right? And now, we will just tie this dupatta to others. Oh my God. Yes. See. I have two other people now, right? And I can see them. Exactly. Should we start with other people, right? So let's start with first performer, Shafak. Welcome. Sanghars. As we know that, as we know that very well, without a struggle, we can't achieve something. A struggle is a part of life. A struggle is a key of success. Like, if we want to do something, achieve something, succeed something, so what we need to do? We need to do struggle. Because without a struggle, everything is impossible but if we are doing a struggle if we are facing a lot of problem a lot of challenges in our life one day will come we will achieve our goals and our dreams but some people think that if i do a struggle my life is going to like pain and like problems they don't feel that after the struggle where they after the struggle what will they see in their life they don't think about that life. They always think about a struggle life. Because a struggle is a, a like pain and very painful and it is not good for us. But according to me, a struggle is very good for us. It is make our future bright. It's make it's make us strong. A struggle gives us experience, a struggle gives us knowledge, a struggle gives us power, and a struggle gives us opportunities. We should never left any opportunity to do something. Because if we left any opportunity to do something, we can't get any something. As we know that struggle is a part of life, but people don't want to do something. A struggle in their life. A struggle means not like that. If you are doing a very tough thing, like a very complicated thing, that means a struggle. A struggle means that if you are doing a study, it's your struggle. If you are doing something for your family, it's your struggle. If you are doing something for yourself, for your goal, for your dream, it is your struggle. As we can take an example of a child. When child born, he doesn't know how to walk, how to speak, how to run, how to eat, how to talk. But after some time, slowly, 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 he do struggle in, the, in his life. Then he knows how to speak, how to eat, how to talk, how to walk and how to run. What is this? This is, this is a struggle. A struggle is a, like a little, little thing is a struggle. Nowadays, we are learning English. It is, a, it is our struggle because we don't know any word of English. But now we are trying to learn this. This is a struggle. Abdullah sir, as we can take an example of AB sir, AB sir did a lot of struggle in his life. Now he is in Delhi and he is teaching like a, us. And what he did? He did struggle in his life. Like he is a legend. I salute sir. And that's all from my side. Thank you for listening to me. All right.